The LaGrange Legacy Archives, number 411, Space City Shoemaker Levy 9. The gathering of the original historical records on Space City Shoemaker Levy 9, SL9, began during the Great War by Professor Von Levy, the Faculty of History Department at Herman University. To prevent the history of SL9 from being lost in the war, Levy and his students gathered a large number of original historical records on SL9 and stored them in Herman University's library. The entire collection was later donated to the LaGrange Legacy Bureau after the war. I wish for mankind's exploration of space to last beyond the streak of a comet across the sky. Even if we one day stop taking steps forward, then I hope our past achievements could be as massive and awe-inspiring as SL9, and that they will forever mark our place in the vastness of space. Professor Von Levy said, pointing at the famous impact crater of Jupiter. Historical Record 1 Astronomy Section Stellar Daily Great Navigation Era Discovery! Jupiter's new spot is actually Impact Crater. Observatory 2113, located directly above Jupiter's mysterious new spot, released a major new finding recently that states the new red spot that formed two years ago in Jupiter's atmosphere may actually be an impact crater created by comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 when it collided with Jupiter. Two years ago, a satellite in Jovian orbit observed a newly formed and slowly growing reddish spot. Initially, the Jovian atmospheric experts believed it to be a storm missed by the algorithmic model, and it would soon dissipate. However, the spot continued to expand. Three months later, it exceeded the standard deviation values of the Jovian atmospheric algorithmic model. The International Astronomical Union IAU, soon set up Observatory 2113 in synchronized orbit above the red spot to monitor the changes in the red spot as well as the changes in the composition of the Jovian atmosphere it caused. After two years of data collection and hypothesizing, planetary atmospheric experts on both hemispheres of Jupiter came up with a new theory. The red spot was caused by the explosion of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 at a low altitude inside the Jovian atmosphere. The comet's air burst under the high pressure of the low Jovian atmosphere, triggering a reaction inside the Jovian atmosphere, creating the reddish ejecta pattern which we observed. In other words, this red spot was in fact an impact crater left behind by comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 when it collided with Jupiter. If the theory is valid, similar red spots may also appear where other fragments of the comet collided with Jupiter. The scientists have calculated the possible locations and times the other red spots will appear, whereas the validity of the theory will await further observations to be verified. The IAU attaches great importance to this discovery and has plans to expand the observatory. A larger interdisciplinary group of experts will also be assigned. Observatory 2113 has also been officially renamed as Space Station Shoemaker-Levy 9, SL9. Once all the five expansion phases are completed, it will evolve as the largest space station that supports scientific research, residential, and small-scale industrial production in synchronized orbit above Jupiter. Historical Record 2 SL9 City Channel Social News New Gold Rush Era Ribbon-cutting ceremony for Jovian Power Machinery Manufacturing Bureau's new plant to be held tonight. Good evening, our fellow Jovians. The much-anticipated new JPMMB plant has been completed. The ribbon-cutting ceremony will be held tonight at 6. 
All denizens are welcome to take the dedicated JPMMB elevators to attend the event. Ever since JPMMB's establishment, it has made great contributions to the economy and development of this city. In collaboration with the Jupiter Energy Development Corporation, JEDC, JPMMB CEO Levy the 86th said in an exclusive interview with us that they would further expand their production scale to provide more employment opportunities for the city and also collaborate with the city government in the urban development, taking a more comprehensive role in the city's utility constructions. I was born in SL9 and its name is etched in my bloodline. I want to make our city a better place while expanding our business scale. Other than increasing our production scale, our new plant also means great investment in the R&D of new technologies. We will also engage in outer solar system affairs, committed to the construction and expansion of the Lagrange network. We wish to be the leading power machinery designer and manufacturer in the great LaGrange network. And I invite all passionate and brave explorers and pioneers to join our ranks. The ribbon cutting ceremony is about to begin at any second. This is Sean Shoemaker, live from the event. Historical Record 3 Jupiter Industries Monthly Group Business News, Galactic War Era. Group Organization Restructure, SL-9 Shipyard Deployed in Response to War. To cope with the surge of warship orders due to the increasingly tense war situation, the group decided to build the SL-9 Shipyard on the foundation of Jovian Power Machinery Manufacturing Bureau's manufacturing plant. Our top ship designer and teams in the solar system will be assigned to the shipyard to undertake a part of the group's design and production of ships. David Shoemaker is to be appointed as the shipyard's chief engineer. Most of the shipyard's facilities are currently being upgraded to accommodate the manufacturing demands of current-gen ships. The production line is expected to be fully completed and operational by the next month. David Shoemaker has already led the team in designing the first ship to be produced at SL-9 Shipyard, the SL-9 Heavy Torpedo Escort Corvette. David Shoemaker has high hopes for this Escort Corvette. Whenever I look up from my design draft, I see that impact crater left behind by the ancient comet not far away. If it never happened, maybe the intergalactically renowned space city SL-9 would never have existed. Nor would there be countless shoemakers and levies who set foot and take it upon themselves to light up so many unknown systems out there. This city has left behind numerous names that will forever be remembered across the great Lagrange network. But this war has put a stop to all that. It not only hindered development, but it also threatens the safety of this city. We named the first escort corvette to be produced at our shipyard, the SL-9 so that none will forget this majestic city and the great era of our pioneers.